going on, y'all? In today's video, we are going to be using Optic Skunk's MCW class setup in Modern Warfare 3. Now, Optic Skunk is one of the best Call of Duty players of all time, and every time I use one of his or other pro player class setups, they're always using attachments that I never used or tried before, and then I end up incorporating those same attachments into my own build. So it's kind of a learning process. Now you guys are gonna see just how good Optic Scum's MCW is in today's gameplays because, dude, I'm telling you, when you look at this, I'm, it literally looks like aimbot. But first and always, let me give you guys Scum's setup. So starting off, he had on the Mark III reflector, which is right here. Super clean picture. It's what I use. Are you serious? We're updating playlist in the middle of me. Okay, well, we were just rudely interrupted, as I was saying. Uh, he had the Mark III reflector on, which is the same one I always use. He had a different rear grip, which was this RB Claw PSL grip, where you get an increase in gun kick control and recoil control. So that helps you land a lot your, more of your shots, be a lot more accurate. He had on the Nano High Grain Rounds. Okay, I also had that on, so we're on the right path here. And you get an increase in bullet velocity and damage range. And this allows you to actually kill in a bullet quicker in close to range gunfights, closer, medium range-ish. So, I mean, this is kind of a game changer. He then had on a very unique looking muzzle. And this muzzle, I mean, I'm gonna incorporate this into my build because I mean, I think this is what brought it all together. The X10 ported 290. Look at that increase in vertical and horizontal recoil control. No other muzzle gives you that much. So now, now that you see it here, you about to see it in my own builds. And then his final attachment actually wasn't the midnight barrel. This is the one I use. He was actually rocking the very first one. And with this barrel, you get bullet velocity and range. And then this midnight one, you get the same thing, but you actually get a bigger increase in the bullet velocity and range in the first barrel right here. So it's it ends up being the better option, which I just figured the KR Midnight was better. You also get movement speed with it. So that was nice, at least to me. But I mean, I think this is the best one. I, I ain't going to question the king. Now, if any of you guys are brand new around here and you want to see some more Call of Duty content, you're in the right spot because we upload Modern Warfare 3 every single day. We don't miss days over here. So make sure you guys subscribe with those notifications on and you will be notified the next time I post a video. And make sure you guys click that thumbs up button. It literally takes seconds to do it and it really helps push the video up. And with all that being said, man, these are the gameplays I managed to drop with Optic Scum's MCW. Watch this. And bro, dude, this is a, such a laser beam. Oh my god, it doesn't move whatsoever. We got optic stumps. MCW setup, and dude, I mean, the thing doesn't move whatsoever. I'm in the god spot right here, just watching spawns. I love doing this every single year where I use uh, Scum's build at least like once or twice, depending on you know what weapon it is or. And I do that because I feel like I learn a lot of about new attachments. And in this, we're just getting started, and that's how we're starting off too. It's insane. Can I reload? Thank you. Wait, there's a lot going on. Hold on. And one attachment I did learn about this time around is the muzzle I'm using on this. I I've never seen a muzzle give you so much vertical recoil control and just help you out so much in that way and that's why it looks this accurate there's no stock on this or anything like this muzzle increases the accuracy of this weapon by a disturbing amount it is absolutely unbelievable and i honestly now i'm gonna start incorporating this into my setup so i that's the reason i love using these pro setups because you just learn a lot there we go. I got him. I have this advanced up. Bro's like, where's? How does he know where I'm at? So don't be surprised when you say, like, "Damn, that that muscle's pretty good." I wonder how you found out about that. Because I'm using Scum's setup, and I mean, he's one of, if not the most recognizable Call of Duty player of all time. I mean, everybody knows who he is. It's unbelievable. And also, season one and a half, we're gonna be getting ranked play. So. I'm most likely going to be using this build myself. Oh my god, I didn't even see him there. I'm going to be using probably this exact build anyways. While I'm grinding ranks play, trying to get back to Iridescent and whatnot. Oh my god. Okay, we're really one shot. Let me throw some ambit on and chill. Let me get back on the rooftops. That's literally the best spot. Like, that is the power position. Now, if you're wondering, yo, where the hell is your magazine at? Well, 
in competitive, it's 4v4, so there's no reason to have a 40 round magazine. There's two less people on the map, and that people aren't always like stacking and and holding. They're kind of doing their own thing on the map. So you just need enough for like at least one gunfight, and this is easily more than enough for two. That's the reason why, and it slows down our weapon a little bit too much. We don't want we don't want our weapon to be quick and snappy, just ready to go. Nice, good job, teammate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I only have three shots on my weapon. Dude, the health regen is so slow. I wish it was a little quicker. I want quick fix so bad in this game. That'd just be so great. Here we go. We're on 27. We need three kills for our nuke. Also, if you notice, I'm actually rocking the Zircon camo, which is like the equivalent of Forge camo in multiplayer. And this is the... There's our MGB. There's our MGB just like that, bro. Oh my god. It's so accurate and so strong. Do you... Dude. See? This is why I like using these builds. Like, z the thing legitimately does not move. The damage is incredible on it. It's... I love how snappy it is and how accurate it is. That is... It, the combination of attachments on this is unbelievable. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I've been grinding the zombies camo. I'm almost... Damn it. I almost have gold enigma on all my SMGs, and then I gotta work on Zircon, and that'll bring me to 12 Zircon out of 36 for, um, you know, the camo. And then after I get everything Zircon, I gotta do Serpent tonight. I gotta do 36 for that. So I still have kind of a way to go. But dude, the Zombies grind has been absolutely amazing. I've been having such a great time with the Zombies camo. I really hope they continue to add more acts and cool rewards. I feel like I've said that already, but they kind of need to. I'm going to push this. This is probably a bad idea, but I know there's a lot of people here. Oh my god. I did get some. Oh, the, uh, the guy, I knew there was a guy to my left. I wasn't sure if he knew where I was. I was just kind of going for it. I honestly just didn't care. We already got our MGB. I'm at 43 kills. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 100. I mean, that's the goal, but we'll see. Good job, teammate. Oh my god. That dude's shotgun is insane. I want to see how many people I can take out with one magazine. That'd be great. But yeah, zombies is just a different experience. Whatever they're doing, I, it's good. Again, they got to add some more acts and cool rewards. So there's just something to constantly do. But the camera, but camel grind's been great. I think the the battle of the camel grind in zombies is literally just ranking up the guns because all the challenges are pretty easy. It's just being pack a punched and whatnot. But doing those acts and those challenges really helps you kind of learn zombies. And then you kind of know how to do literally all the challenges very, very easy, easily. Like where to find the mimics. Like that's one of the challenges. They got five mimics. You know how to find all those after you complete the acts. Or how you, or you have to get a lot of pack-a-punch kills for gold and zircon. Well, how do you, how do you, how, what's the fast way to get pack-a-punch? Guess who knows? This guy. Because I've been grinding quite a bit of zombies. I'll make sure to showcase, uh, I'll do a dedicated video on Serpent tonight once I unlock it. Because I ain't gonna lie, that's the camo I'm the most excited to unlock. I don't know why, I think it looks sick. It's animated. So once I unlock it, I'll be sure to cover it. Is this guy gonna challenge us? You guys see his legs peeking through the, the bottom? <laughs> Bro's legs are just peeking straight to the bottom. Alright, we're triple capping, which kinda sucks. I'm about to get my advance. Let me go up top real quick. I'm just going to play smart. For oh, shoot. I'm going to play smart for this advanced. Let me know if you guys are going to be playing ranked play once it drops. Oh, I didn't get that. That doesn't count towards my threat A. Once it drops, because I'm actually really, really excited for, for ranked. I did play it in MW... In MW2 when it first dropped. I got to iridescent. I honestly never touched it again. I think it's because I didn't enjoy the game like at, at all, so why would I play it at like a competitive level, but... Thank you, I got my advance. I know everyone's out. But MW3, I actually thoroughly... Oh, did you see me? Oh, I don't think so. Thank you, I got him. Okay, there's not a lot of time left, but I could try to go on another like pretty fast streak here. We'll see. Did he see me? No, he doesn't. Right, there's like three people here. Uh, bro is hiding behind a vehicle. 185. I don't think we have time. 
Give me, a, dude, I can't wait to use this again. Like, we just completely dominated them. We got 63 kills and an, and an MGB nuke. I'm on a 17 right now. Run another streak for another one, but game's over. So well, that's unfortunate. Damn, bro. I wish I had more time. I like a hundred kills or something. That'll be the goal for next game. See if we can get a hundred. That guy almost destroyed me. I ain't gonna lie. Someone got kicked for an activity. Nice. Trapped up. DJ. They all, oh, they all rage quit. That's why. Damn. That whole lobby completely rage quit. 66 kills and an MGB nuke. Almost a double. I mean, Jesus. Those guys got obliterated. Oh, damn. Body bumping. Oh, after like a, just a super kind of quick. It was a quick game. It was a little bit on the slower side of things. I mean, we're turning up the pace a little bit here with Rust. And I'm going to really put this 30 round mag to to the test. I want to see if I'm going to actually be able to take out, you know, multiple enemies. If I'm going to actually struggle with this thing, because, you know, my magazine is just so small. But I also have mag holster on, so I can reload very, very quick. Is there a guy up here? I, I saw that. I saw the arrow on the map. Oh, right here. Got him. He didn't even know I was up there. This thing is... I mean, I just took out three right there. That is... Oh, my God. I know I literally just uploaded the MCW, but I was watching Scump, and, dude, I saw what he had on his build. I mean, I caught... Son, I had to throw it on myself, because this thing was... Zapping, and it's doing the same for me right now. All right, I got a helicopter up. Ammo box was so down. I am running a little low on ammo. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot left. There we go. Dude, the thing doesn't move. Literally, this is probably the easiest weapon build I think I've ever used. I, w I just wish I could throw in a bigger mag. Because then I would be able to rush out a little bit more. And, you know... But I feel like if I do, I'm gonna, just going to run out of ammo. Especially with that increase in base health. I got took out three again with one mag. Pretty impressive. A lot of them are focused on the helicopter, so they don't really care about me. Uh, and they're kind of spawn trapped back there. Yeah, see? He's worried about my helicopter, not even me. Low on ammo again. Thankfully, I have another ammo box. Get some more out of there, and we should be good to go. 23? Oh my god, dude. I mean... They're just stuck in the back. Son. You know how big my balls are? My balls are massive. I ain't shying away from that, that gunfight. Oh, I only got... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh my god, I have no ammo. I don't know how close I am either. I have my handy dandy SMG though. Oh my god, I got it. Holy cow. That was so scary. I literally have scavenger on, but I was not moving at all. I was just sitting up top. I'm so glad I didn't bother peeking this dude. He has an FJX Imperium. We're using a Modern Warfare... A Modern Warfare 2 weapon? I wonder if you guys would even be interested in watching me use an MW2 weapon. Because I see them there, and I, they're, sometimes they're tempting because it's something that all of you have. Because I know there's a lot of weapons locked behind the... Uh, oh my god, they're getting zapped. Behind the armory system? I was like, you know, maybe I could dabble into some MW2 weapons. I don't really know. Love it. If you guys are missing any weapons from that armory system, or they're locked in there, you don't have them unlocked, which ones are they? Just so I know. Because... I have almost quite literally everything you can earn from there. There's like a few things I'm missing, but that's it. They made it a little easier where you don't have to complete your daily challenges. You could just automatically earn your... Uh, it's up top, I think. You can just automatically earn them by just winning your games. It's not like you have to complete your three dailies and then start winning. So it is a little bit easier where you can just straight up start winning your matches and you're good. There's, I want my advance. There we go. This weapon is just so easy to use. I, I could see just literally anyone throwing this on and being good to go. Well, I got another advanced. I'm at 48 kills. Bro, why is this back-to-back -back games where they end so quick? Damn, I might have to throw in a third game or something. I ain't gonna lie. 
Maybe we can actually get the double this time. Nice. Let's down real quick. We almost had it last time, but literally, the only reason... I didn't even choke it. The game just ended. I have my advance still, and we're still sitting on the hard point. I don't know why. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, I'm weak. I'm so glad I had cover. Thank you, teammate. Saved my life. That's a grenade. I don't think EOD fully works. Oh my god, I'm just running. I'm just getting put into the worst situation. I don't want to challenge the sniper. Okay, I don't think he's looking at me. Thank you, I got him. We're on 23 right now. Thank you, he missed a shot. Oh my god. No! Bro, I'm not running over any scavenger packs at all. I s oh my god. I guess, I mean, getting a hundreds also, like, would be great. I should have had that. I choked it. Let me get them out of here. I don't like that they're all stuck over here. Dude, three and a half minutes left. And look at they're all over here. Why are we sitting over here? Thank you. They're on the hard point. That's what I wanted. Get me out of there. I do not want to be over there. Okay. We're looking good. I'm going to call in this UAV real quick. And we're back on the hard point again. Oh my god, give the thing a break. You know how much time we have? Reloading. A pop. I kind of want to flip the spawns over there. I would love to. Oh my god, Granada. Give me out, give me out, give me out. Okay. If I can get the enemies to spawn in that corner over there instead, we are going to be fine. Loaded. I got the Overwatch up. I'm at 70 kills. I would need 30 to do this to get 100. I want it bad. I want it. Shoot. Still spawning there. One's up top two. Please get the... Yeah, do not let him on the hard point. Thank you. Good job, enemies. I'm trying to keep them staying spawning over there instead. I got an advance up. Now I know exactly where they're all at. Oh, God. This is so accurate. I love this build so much. This is just so helpful. Come on. Oh no, now they're all spawning on my teammate. No. Get off the hard point. I'm at, I, need, I don't need much. Come on, enemies. I'm putting my heart on their line for this 100 kill game. And what? Thank you, thank you, enemies. Put up, put up a fight. I'm literally giving you the spawns. Flank uh, around. I mean, we're on another double streak too. I ain't gonna lie. We're on a 26. Oh man! I, literally, all I'm doing is just pushing, pushing their spawns and making sure they spawn on the the hard point. That's literally what I'm doing. 91. Well, I don't, I mean, I'm technically not at 100, and I still wouldn't even if I call this nuke in. I might even guarantee to get all my kills. Oh, ah! It's zapping. On the new hard point. Let's see, now I have to. Thank you. See? Got him off again. Let me get out of there. Throw some more ammo down. I like how I'm just able to get them over there again. Maybe, uh, I gotta, oh no. Oh, I canceled the nuke. You can cancel call. I gotta call them. Here we go, I called it in. I, I only need two kills. Only two, that's it. Got it, 100. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. I, don't, I only have 100, not 100 plus. Now I have 100 plus. We choked another few nukes this game, too. Man, dude, I'm so glad I was able to control those spawns like the way I did, where I was just pushing the opposite of the hard point, and then they're spawning on the hard point, they're on it. 
that prolonged the game a lot more 104 kills we died on like two other 20s i mean oh my lord dude the final score line is 104 to 4. that is gross